Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 142 of the last thoughts of a busy mind. This one titled, A Genuine Critique of This Very Show. My doing today is a sour cherry syrup and water. And let me take a sip. It's good, it's disgustingly sweet, like me. <laughs> Anyways, um... As the title suggests, this one is going to be a little bit of a self-introspect um, of the show that you're listening to right now. Hopefully you are listening. I am trying to find the best angle to talk into this microphone. It Hopefully it's not a cord malfunction or anything. I feel like I'm... I mean, it might be my ears being a little bit fucked <laughs> because... And if I sound sick, it's because I think I am sick again. I mean, I am coughing again. I will not cough into the microphone, don't worry. And uh, my nose is stuffed up. It might be seasonal allergies. Genuinely, in any case, I'm I'm not feeling well. But uh, let's get on with the episode. And as you might say, I said I'm sick again. And that is kind of the problem. Now, for the last few episodes... I am feeling um, a little bit discontent, you know. I am not satisfied with the episodes that I produce. Now, I know going by the standards of, standards of this show, that may not seem like such a high bar because genuinely I don't feel like I've, I've set this show for, to have very much high standards. Uh, which is very mean if you agree with me. You shouldn't. I, I am allowed to be self-deprecating. You should be um, helping me up instead of pushing me down. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, but I haven't felt a little completely satisfied with the episodes that I'm, I've been producing. Now... It's nothing to do with a reaction or anything, because I feel like if more than one person listens to an episode, that episode is a success. I know that sounds like I have very low standards and low confidence, which I do, but for this, it's because uh, this is a very personal show. And so if you find anything in it, I am genuinely glad, and uh, thank you if you are a continued listener, or if this is your first episode, oh my god, you should go back and listen to some other ones, but the reason I'm feeling not very satisfied is I feel like the episodes are becoming more self-referential, like when I talk about loneliness, I say I've talked about it in other episodes, or when I've talk about sickness i'm like oh i talked about it in the other episodes i've talked about it in this episode or that episode i keep sending listeners back to the back catalog of the show and it at the very least made these episodes sound uh, empty like i don't have anything to say now that might be pause uh, for i'm sorry cause for pause and uh for me to have a little bit of an introspection into my life. Do I have anything more to say? Uh, but that's not the case here. Because genuinely, I believe I have more to say. There are other aspects of my life I haven't even mentioned on this show. And there are aspects that I know I'm not going to mention on the show. If, if the show goes on, which is another thing, uh, for a while. Uh, I don't know if the show will go on. Like, I'm, I don't know if season 10 is going to be the final season of this show. It's something I have to grapple with, and I probably will talk to my friends about it. And if you have any opinions on it, please do tell me. 150 is a good round number to end on, which is going to be the last episode of this season. But if you feel like you want to hear more, do tell me. And there are ways of telling me. If you listen to this on YouTube... Uh, you can write a comment there, you, and while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're on any other platform, if you're on CastBox, you can comment there, and it will reach me. And if you're listening to this on Spotify, uh, you can send me a 
voice message hopefully you still can do that i know spotify for podcasters which is the service i use is changing its uh, model a little bit um it won't take the effect until june though so you might still have the option to send me a voice message and i will play your voice message at the beginning of the next episode so yeah <laughs> that's I am I am incredibly sorry if I seem distracted. I am not distracted. I'm not I'm not feeling very well, but as I said, I don't want the show to be self-referential. I have talked about it before. I have various mental problems. I have I deal with depression, I deal with OCD, I deal with anxiety a lot. I feel I uh, deal with uh self-worth, self-doubt and lack of self-worth. And um I don't want to talk about them. Because I've talked about them before, but I don't want to reference them either. I don't want to send you back into the back catalog. Because that's the problem. I've been doing this show for more than 100 episodes. 142, to be exact. Which is, and this is true, 140 more than the episodes I thought I will make when I started this. I started it in 2020 and... It's 2024 now. It hasn't gotten to the four-year anniversary, but three years and some months isn't nothing. And I feel like at the very beginning, I had like a ton I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about loneliness, relocation, depression, and all of that, which were some things I were dealing with constantly. And since then, some of those uh, have been resolved and some of them haven't. And those have been resolved. I'm glad I've talked about them also. But those that haven't, I feel like I keep sending you back to it. So the genuine critique of this show is that I believe at this point, at the very least, I feel like I have nothing to say. Which might you might be wondering, why do you make a show then? And that's where the paradox comes in. I feel like it feels like I have nothing to say, but I know I have stuff to say. Like this week... I was busy with my movie, and that created a ton of anxiety. But since I've talked about GAD and anxiety before many times on the show, I feel like, oh, in this new episode, I don't want to tread already traveled water. But that's the problem. A lot of people may be listening to this episode for the first time. They don't know what I've talked about. And even if they do go back, which might not happen it is very unlikely that people will go back to this show and listen to all the episodes and uh, not only because quality wise some of them are not good uh to be honest quality wise the show hasn't changed which might be another problem i feel like i haven't grown as a creator on this podcast but uh, aside from that i feel like uh quality wise some of the older episodes microphone issues aside probably weren't best i sound sick i didn't know how to speak properly uh, not like i do now uh, and genuinely it just it doesn't feel good to go back and listen to them i know because i barely can myself and i'm, I'm the one recording this now this is another thing i everyone hate the sound of their own voice i am not exempt uh, but here's the thing um I've, it's not easy to go back to the episode, but at the same time, if you've been listening to me for a while, you realize I do talk about the same things over and over again. Like, I feel like a few of my earlier seasons were completely clouded by loneliness. Like, I talked about it constantly. And in the back of my head, I have this feeling that I am a very boring person. I am not interesting. I don't live an interesting life. I don't lead an interesting life. And because of that, uh, that little bit of insecurity stays there. And anytime anything happens that might affirm it even a little bit, I take that as an absolute fact. For example, literally right now, I got my YouTube monthly creator thing. And it told me I had uh, three new subscribers. But the fact is, today or yesterday, I lost one. Now... 
I haven't made any videos for more than a year. I made a short video on my YouTube channel and that's it. Just saying I will make more videos. And yet I'm surprised by it, but then that little thing feeds into the insecurity that I'm a boring person. So when I sit down to record this, I feel like, okay, why would anyone listen to this? And then, as I said, I don't really gauge the popularity of this show as if it's working or not. I believe if I edited it perfectly, it still probably wouldn't gather a lot of attention because the stuff I want to talk about are usually extremely personal. So either my friends listen to it or people who are feeling the same problems listen to it. And if, if it's the people who feel the same problems, um, they probably listen to one episode and leave. They're not going to come back next week and listen to what I've done with my life. Because why would they? I mean, I, I'm not that in much. I'm not that interesting a person. As I said, that's another one of the insecurities. So, it just keeps feeding that insecurity. And then I sit down and record this and realize, oh, why would anyone listen to this? And then that becomes, why am I doing this? At this point, it's persistence. It's something to do at the end of the week, which is Friday. But am I doing it right or not? Back in the day, I used to say, and sorry, I know one of the critics was I was self-referential, but I'm telling you what I've said instead of sending you back. But one of the things I used to say is that this show helps me put a point at the end of the week and to many extents that is still true the show does become a thing for me to put a point at the end of the week look back at what i've done through the week and plan out the next right now i feel like i'm in a mess I i'm not going to talk about it too much because this is supposed to be about the show and not myself even though me and the show are the same but I am not feeling too well and when I sit down to talk I feel like oh why am I talking who cares about me that I'm talking people shouldn't care about me you know they shouldn't they should go on and do other stuff instead of listening to me and that little seed becomes bigger so when i sit down to talk about it i realize oh yeah that's what that's what the most of season two was that was the that seed has already grown had already f produced fruits and this new seed is basically those fruits being eaten and planted again and so in my mind i'm like okay you can talk about these feelings these little feelings to let people know people who might actually do want to listen to this know how do you feel um or you can just send them back to when you first talk about it so that you can talk about new interesting things and that's a pressure that i know it i'm gonna sound extremely spoiled and maybe i am but uh, that's a pressure that i feel like a lot of people probably feel I, I'm watching You're the Worst right now, the TV show. I watched the first season. I started the first season yesterday and I finished it today. Um, good show. Great show, actually. Uh, one of the episodes, Thomas Middleditch was in it and he was the leader of a hipster group. And he said that uh, he didn't know how to make friends, but he... The pressure was in, he, on him to keep creating cool activities for his group. And, you know, that's the thing. The, the thing is that life is more mundane than we want to think. think. And I'm not going to say that social media did this, but social media was also involved. YouTube is involved. Daily vloggers were involved. All of these people were involved. To create that, oh, each day you should do something new. You should have, each week you should have something interesting to say. Either a new mental disorder, either a new bad feeling, or a new activity, a new good thing. And that's not true. 
some days you just want to stay in bed and I have the luxury of doing so some weeks I just spend them in in the house writing stuff that I know nobody will ever read and that should be okay I believe for the sake of humanity for the sake of myself that should be okay but the truth is that doesn't make for an interesting show and this is for I hide it good but this is a show this is a show <laughs> it comes out weekly on Fridays and I spend time on it I spend coming up with names and stuff to talk about I've started a long time ago writing in a notebook about what I'm going to talk about and it it's a show it's not good it's not my best show it's not my most interesting show but it is a show and I put effort in it and at the end of the day I did it for 442 episodes but I didn't feel satisfied with the last five six basically started this season and a little bit of the last season because i feel like oh i'm talking the same stuff over and over again but you know why i keep talking about those it's because they never went away those bad feelings they never went away they stood there and they festered and then i got into my head that because I didn't manage to solve them, even though I haven't taken any steps to solving them, that means I failed. I failed at something that I didn't even want to cure, you know. It's not like, it, it, these things will not go away on their own. They never have, they never will. And I, I'm a fool if I'm going to think they're going to do. And I'm an even bigger fool if I feel like there is a shame in that because it's not there's a shame in not doing anything about it probably but even then the end result of that shame should not be feeling bad about it it should be doing something about it which is going to a therapist or talking to people more candidly but i can't i can't express myself And part of me doesn't know how. I don't know how to express myself without sounding phony. I don't know even if I'm right now, I'm sounding phony. I don't know. That's why I keep t asking people to talk to me because I feel like they should, because they can see me better than I can see myself. I don't have really I don't really have a mirror in my room and when the, when I see pictures of myself I'm like oh my god I looked so weird is that me it feels like an out of body experience sometimes but yeah in this show I feel like oh if I talk about them I've already did why do I need to talk about them? I can just tell people to go and listen to the first one and that's not a good way of conducting this as a show so changes probably uh, mainly i'm trying to limit self-referential things i might talk about like certain episodes where like i talk about a i talk about in a specific thing for example when i talk about my movie i probably will forward you to the episode where i talked about the last time we made a movie and ask you to compare the two but i don't want to talk about oh i've talked about it before i'm not going to do that if i have an emotion if i have a thought if i have a feeling if i have a memory and i've talked about it before i'm going to treat it as if each new episode each new chapter is someone's first that doesn't mean i'm going to keep talking about the same things over and over again but it does mean that I will talk about some of the stuff that I probably talked about back in season one because I feel like time has passed, I've changed, I need to talk about them. And so yeah, don't forget the call to actions. Do talk to me. Like this is supposed to be a conversation and tell me what I should do at the end of this season. If you want season 11 or do you think I should have ended at chapter 140? 
and I will see you all hopefully next week.